What's up guys, today of course I'm going to be talking about the SMLE Bolt Action Sniper Rifle in Battlefield 1. There's three variants to this weapon, the infantry which offers iron sights and zoom options of 1x up to 2x and offers zeros of 75, 150 and 300 meters. The carbine which offers a red dot type sight and zooms of 1.25 up to 2.5 times, but only a zeroing option of 75 so it's exclusively a medium range option. And of course the marksman variant which offers sight magnifications of 2.5 times up to 4 times and offers all three of the zeros of 75, 150, and 300 meters. Of note, the infantry and carbine variants allow you to stay aimed down sights between shots, but the marksman variant does not. For this review, I'll be discussing optimum strategies, uh, strategies when using these weapons and break down the synthetic numbers to give you a better understanding of the weapons. All SMLEs are basically the exact same in terms of base stats, but they do differ in terms of zoom optics, if they have any optics, available to the weapon, and slight differences in recoil and spread, but I'll cover that. You have to be anywhere between kit rank 1 and 3 for the scout class to unlock these variants, and you'll have to spend 200 war bonds apiece for all the variants. So let's get to the stats. All SMLEs have a 52 round per minute fire rate, a 740 meters per second bullet velocity, which puts it sort of in the middle tier among sniper rifle velocities, and a 12 meters per second squared gravitational constant, which means you will suffer from substantial bullet drop over longer ranges, and you'll begin to notice at about maybe 200 meters, maybe slightly less. The magazine size for this weapon is 10. You can add a bayonet to the variants, but of course it, negatives, it negatively impacts how fast you can draw a sniper rifle, so be wary of that if you're playing a more aggressive style. In terms of the damage chart, all three variants have a base damage of 80 up to 20 meters away. It increases to 100 damage at 40 meters, stays at 100 damage until 80 meters, and then past that drops down to the base damage of 80 at 120 meters. In terms of multipliers, headshots have a 1.8 times multiplier, upper body shots have a 1 times multiplier, lower body shots and upper arms have a 0.9 times multiplier, and legs and lower arms have a 0.75 times multiplier. What this means is that the, mag uh, the weapon's sweet spot for a one-hit kill is between 40 and 80 meters, and if you land a headshot or an upper body chest shot, it will be a one-hit kill. This is obviously one of the better sweet spots in the game, and it makes the SMLE one of the best options in the game for sort of medium to aggressive range sniping. Of course, headshots are a one-hit kill at all range and all encounters, so you can go like, you can use the weapon past 100 meters, you just have to hit a headshot for it to be a one-hit kill. In terms of recoil, all SMLEs have exactly the same recoil profile. In terms of vertical recoil, they have two degrees of recoil, and they have one degree of both horizontal, left, and right recoil, and notice that there's no preference for one side. Interesting to note, too, the SMLE infantry variant has a better recoil decrease rating of 4.5, as opposed to the other two variants, which have a profile of 3. We'll now evaluate spread. All SMLEs, not surprisingly, have no spread when aiming down sights and not moving because they're bolt actions. They're not full autos where spread and overall, you know, recoil increase happens. But the carbine variant of note, put it, well, okay, put it this way. The infantry and marksman variants have one degree of spread when aiming down sights and moving, but the carbine variant will have half the spread of the other variants at 0.5 degrees of spread when aiming down sights and moving. Interesting to note too, in terms of hip fire spread, the infantry and marksman variants will encounter 2.5 degrees of spread when hip firing, standing and not moving, and 4 degrees of spread when hip firing, standing and moving. The carbine variant beats both of these variants as it will encounter 1.667 degrees of spread when hip firing, standing and not moving, and 2.668 degrees of spread when hip firing, standing and moving. Lastly, overall, you'll encounter the least overall spread and recoil for all variants when going prone, but of course, because these are single-shot weapons with time to reset your movement and aim between bolt cycles, reloads, etc., recoil and spread can be easily negated without needing to go to prone. Additionally, the infantry variant is best for spread decrease between shots. In terms of reload speeds, it takes a total of 5.57 seconds to reload from completely empty, and you do so by inserting two strips of five rounds. 
If you reload single rounds between inserting a five round strip, it will take anywhere between 0.9 to 4.43 seconds when adding one to four rounds. So my advice logistically, reload at five rounds or empty the entire gun and load two strips. Single bullet reloads will dramatically slow down your reload time if you're reloading more than two rounds at a time. So if you're going to single reload, maybe do two to three rounds at the max. Otherwise, just waste an entire strip and then reload from there. So overall, what ranges and situations does this weapon excel? As noted earlier, the weapon outputs its max 100 damage at 40 to 80 mark. So that's obviously where you're going to want to stay for maximum utility. I always aim for headshots anyway on sniper rifles. It's not like you need that one hit kill range. So you don't have to stick to this 40 to 80 meter range as long as you're hitting headshots. But as I've stated a couple times now, this weapon is a medium range monster. The sweet spot's one of the best in the game. The 80 damage in close range plus the 10 round magazine plus the relatively quick bolt cycling time means it's also a great aggressive sniping option as well. Though oftentimes, especially inside of that 40 meter range, you'll probably need a follow up shot or a quick switch to your pistol to finish off somebody closer. So the big question, what's my rating and would I use this weapon often? I absolutely would use it often and I will continue to because I usually do. The carbine variant I don't really use as much, but based on the stats of the lower spread when moving, might actually be best for more active players when they like to shoot on the move. For medium range but stationary players, as long as you don't mind using iron sights, because of the recoil reset between shots, the infantry variant might actually be your best option. Uh, personally though, I like having a scope, and as long as you're stationary when you're shooting, I always prefer the marksman variant regardless of range. I can traverse between right in your face up to 150 meters, no problems, and I never have to rely on iron sights. That's for me though. Overall, the variants uh, are best suited for overall medium range gameplay. It's given to you at the start and you wouldn't harm yourself sticking with this weapon from there on out. My only drawback is the medium rated bullet velocity. The Gewehr 98 and the M19, or, yeah, the M1903 are better for longer range sniping. So overall, I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10 based on the logic I presented to you above. Uh, and I wouldn't have a problem using it all the time. Uh, but if ranges started getting longer than 100 to 200 meters on average, I find myself, then I'd probably switch to a higher velocity weapon. But it's a very strong overall choice and you won't have any problems. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe to stick around and ball for regular encounter videos and breakdowns. See you later.